Hello and welcome. My name is Tina Kivanen and this is a meditation and breathwork practice. You may choose to experience the entirety of the video as one practice or you may choose to explore sections and do smaller amounts of breathwork and meditation at a time. We'll get started in a seated position for some full yogic breath and centering practice. However, if you're more comfortable laying down, you're welcome to do that as well. If you are sitting, take a moment to align the spine nice and tall and just to make sure that you're as comfortable as you can be wherever you are. If you're laying down, the same. Make any little adjustments to ensure your comfort and support in the body. You may close down the eyes or you may keep just a soft gaze forward. Either way, begin to turn your awareness inward. First, becoming aware of the feeling of being here, the support of the earth beneath you. Noticing any sounds that surround you and letting your ears be open and receptive. And starting to notice your breath, breathing naturally here in and out through the nose. Sensing the rise and fall of each breath wave, belly and chest expanding on the inhale, relaxing on the exhale. As you notice the waves of your breath, flowing in and out in a comfortable way. Let this awareness of your breath start to draw your attention inward. Beginning to let go of the events of your day or the events of the world. Just for now, making a gentle shift into feeling and sensing. Welcoming the feeling of the breath, the air touching the nostrils. Welcoming the feeling of the belly and chest rising and falling. And this awareness of your breath drawing you to a place of connection and being centered. Noticing the mind starting to relax. Even as thoughts pass through, there becomes a bit of a feeling of spaciousness around the thoughts. as if the thoughts are being swallowed up by the breath. And the breath is expanding awareness throughout the entire body. As you take a moment to scan awareness from the crown of your head all the way up to the crown and then start to let your awareness trickle down from the crown, scanning through the body all the way down to the tips of the fingers and the toes. Noticing any physical sensations that may be present. Noticing any emotional sensations that may be present. We're noticing the quality of your energy, of your nervous system, your whole state of being. Welcoming yourself to be here just as you are. Welcoming the witness 
that part of yourself that is watching the unfolding experience with compassion, with non-judgment. Becoming the witness with compassion and curiosity. And throughout this experience of pranayama, breath work, and meditation, if you find the mind is quite active, consider the mind to be like a puppy. And you're calling the puppy back as the puppy learns knowing that the puppy responds more to your compassion and your patience and your love than any kind of scorn. This puppy comes back and sits and listens when given lots of space given encouragement and patience and love. So consider your mind like a puppy. When the mind wanders, calling the mind back, but with love and with encouragement, with patience. Anytime the mind wanders, coming back to the breath, back to your point of focus, back with love and compassion and patience. Taking just a few more breaths here, natural and effortless breaths. And we'll start to explore what's called the full yogic breath or dirga pranayama, which is an expansive breath, diaphragmatic breath. So when you inhale, the lungs inflate, the breath moves down to the lower lobes of the lungs, so the belly expands, and also the middle ribs and upper chest expand as well. The exhale is long and slow and relaxed. So we'll explore this breath first in three parts. Begin with bringing your hands onto your belly, just lightly onto your belly. And begin to welcome the breath felt down low in the abdomen. Noticing the belly and the lower back expanding with every inhale and then softening on the exhale. You may even feel just the slight draw of the navel back towards the spine at the end of your exhale, just in a relaxed way, nothing too constrained there. Just a gentle relax drawing back of the navel at the end of the exhale. A few more rounds of this abdominal breath. So we're feeling the breath mainly down in the belly. And this belly breath is soothing for the nervous system. Signaling the parasympathetic rest and digest. And after a few rounds of this belly breath, let your hands drift up to the middle ribs. So you're just resting the hands on either side of the ribs. And for a few breaths, just as much as you can sense and feel, the breath expands in the middle ribs. On the inhale, on the exhale, relaxing. Just naturally exhaling out. And just a few rounds of this, feeling the breath expanding in the middle ribs. Soften on the exhale. And just do three to five more rounds of this. You may be keeping the eyes closed down or a soft gaze forward. And let's bring our hands now up to the chest. So 
So letting the hands rest just lightly upon your chest as we bring the breath predominantly into the chest area. When you breathe in, a feeling of the upper lobes of the lungs inflating. As you breathe out, relaxing and releasing. I'm doing this just a few more times, sensing the chest, the upper lobes of the lungs inflating. Even the upper back expands and exhaling to relax and let go. Beautiful. So now we'll bring these three parts together into the full yogic breath. So bring one hand down onto the belly and one hand remains on the chest. Now begin to feel as you inhale the belly, the middle ribs and the upper chest expanding, filling. On the exhale, releasing from the chest to the belly and maybe that slight draw of the navel back towards the end of the exhale. Inhaling belly, middle ribs and upper chest expand at your own pace, continuing. Exhaling to release and let go. Take a few more rounds, noticing your mind, staying focused on this feeling of the full yogic breath, dirga pranayama. And if it feels challenging to locate the different parts of the breath, simply focus on your breath being long and slow and relaxed. Knowing that through any of the pranayama practices, any of the breathwork practices, if you ever feel that it is stressful for your system, you might just come back to this natural, gentle, full yogic breath. Taking just a few more rounds. And then letting your hands relax back down wherever they're comfortable and take a few moments to receive the effects of full yogic breath. Letting your breath come back to what feels most natural and effortless and scanning through your body and through your being to notice how you feel. Any subtle effects from this pranayama practice. And now we'll explore our next technique, the Sama Vritti Pranayama. And this is a counting breath. So I encourage you to always use a count that feels comfortable for you. Beginning with the full yogic breath, the feeling of the belly, the middle ribs and the upper chest expanding as you inhale. Nice long and slow exhalation. Again, you may have eyes closed down or your gaze just softly forward to one point. And as you're continuing with the Dirga Pranayama with the full yogic breath, Begin to allow your exhalation to be slightly longer than your inhalation. And just notice how that feels to lengthen your exhalation even just a little bit longer than your inhalation. A long exhalation signals the relaxation response in the nervous system. And begin a counting technique as you inhale, counting up from one to perhaps four or five. Exhale and count again to four or five or six. 
If it's comfortable, letting that exhale be a little longer than the inhale. So we're breathing in, in your own pace to a count of four or five. Exhaling to a count of perhaps five or six. And as you continue with this counting breath, begin to notice the spaces in between each breath. Just become a little bit more aware of that space at the top of the inhale. Become a little more of the space at the end of the exhale, continuing to count on your inhale and your exhale. And the more you become aware of that space in between each breath, you may also add a count there. So perhaps you're counting on your inhale to four or five. And then in between the inhale and exhale, holding and counting for perhaps just a few counts, whatever's comfortable. And then your exhale again is a bit longer than your inhale. And if it's comfortable holding at the end of the exhale for a few counts, so continue to find these four parts of the Sama Vritti Pranayama. Inhaling, holding at the top, exhaling, and holding at the bottom, continuing with the counting. knowing we always want this practice to feel smooth and comfortable, never holding the breath to the point of gasping or straining. The traditional Samavritti breath is equal parts on the inhale, the hold, the exhale, and the hold. So you may like to try that, integrating equal parts for the next few rounds. Perhaps your inhale is to a count of four or five. Hold for the same count. Exhale for the same count. And hold for the same count. Or you may choose to continue letting your exhale be longer by just a slight amount to continue calming the nervous system. Continuing just another few rounds of counting. The word sama meaning same or equal and vritti referring to the fluctuations of the breath or the fluctuations of the mind. So we're bringing a sense of equanimity to the mind and we're bringing a sense of equanimity or sameness to the flow of each breath cycle. And for the next few rounds of breath, let go of the counting, but let that feeling of equanimity remain. Still holding the breath in between and focusing on that sense of equal parts and yet letting go of the counting and welcoming the silence within. Breathing into the silence within. Breathing out into the silence. 
and welcoming the silence in between each breath. Letting go of this form and shaping of the breath and taking a few moments to breathe naturally and comfortably, simply receiving the subtle effects of Sama Vritti Pranayama. The next practice we'll move into is called the physiological sigh. And it consists of a double inhalation through the nose and a long exhalation through the mouth. So I'll demonstrate inhaling two sips that are long in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. So two sips in through the nose, a full sip in, and then filling the lungs a little bit more on the second sip, exhaling through the mouth. So giving this a try, whenever you're ready, you might be closing the eyes, breathing in, two sips in through the nose, nice and long, full sips in. Exhaling through the mouth. And do this just another few rounds with your own pace, letting your inhale, the first sip in, be nice and full and deep. The second sip fills the lungs just a little bit more. The exhale is out through the mouth, not forced, just not long and slow and relaxed. as this physiological sigh is known for helping to induce a state of relaxation and to calm in moments of anxiety or stress. And do just three to five more rounds. And then returning to a natural pace of breath in and out through the nose to simply receive the effects of physiological sigh. Noticing any subtle effects on the body, the mind, the nervous system, your whole being. Noticing the effect on your own natural breath as well. Maybe the breath is feeling a little more expansive, a little slower or more spacious. Moving into Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. Nadi Shodhana meaning the purification of the nadis, which are the energy channels within the subtle energy body. So in this breathing practice, we're actually manipulating the nostrils with our fingers, breathing in one side, out the other. However, if you are congested, or if there's any reason why it's not comfortable to have the breath moving in one side and out the other, you can always do this practice imagining the flow of the breath. So you would breathe in a way that's comfortable for you, but you would bring your, your awareness to that sense of the breath coming in one side, out the other, in one side and out the other. So know that that's an option as well. And you might take a moment also to clear the nostrils um, with a Kleenex as well. Blowing the nose can be helpful to do before this pranayama as well. 
So when you're ready, we'll be coming into the hand position, the mudra, which is called Vishnu Mudra. In Vishnu Mudra, we bring the index finger and the middle finger down to the palm, and we leave the thumb, the ring finger, and the pinky open. And this mudra with your right hand comes over to the nose. However, if there's any reason why your hand isn't comfortable this way, maybe carpal tunnel or arthritis, you can also do this with just a natural hand choosing to use the thumb and then whatever other finger is comfortable. So whether Vishnu Mudra or your natural hand, bring the hand up towards the nose and begin by blocking your right nostril and exhaling any breath out through the left side. Then take a nice big breath in through your left side, a full yogic breath all the way up to the top. Close your, your left nostril with your ring finger and exhale out through the right side. So the full length of your exhalation flows out through the right. Then inhale through your right side. Closing at the top with the thumb to exhale through the left. Long and slow and relaxed. You can move with your own pace and I'll guide a few more rounds. Inhaling through the left side. Closing at the top. Exhaling through the right. Inhaling through the right. Closing at the top and exhaling through the left. Continue with your own pace, knowing that each side begins with an exhale and then an inhale and then switch. So each side begins with an exhale and then an inhale and then switch. Noticing if you can soften your elbows, your shoulders, but keep your spine alert and tall. Allow your mind to follow the pathway of the breath. Balancing right and left hemispheres of your brain. Bringing a sense of balance to the nervous system. Calming the mind. Clearing energetic pathways for a free flow of prana, of life force energy. A few more rounds, remembering each side begins with an exhale and then an inhale and then switch to the other side. Breath is long and slow and relaxed. Mind is absorbed within the breath. The next time you exhale through the left side can be your last round. So when you're ready, your arms can just relax down to wherever they're comfortable. Continuing to rest within a state of awareness as you notice the effects of Nadi Shodhana, of the alternate nostril breathing, purification of the energy channels. Perhaps noticing the breath coming in and out through the nose, both sides equally, 
Or maybe you notice one side is a bit more dominant than the other. Simply notice what you notice. And feel a sense of integration. Your entire being integrating the effects of this breath work technique. Natural and effortless breath. And to integrate this practice, we'll be coming into a final Shavasana, which is a relaxation. So if you've been sitting up for this breath work, you're welcome to take a moment to lay down and get very comfortable, reaching for any extra layers of support to bring underneath your body, like a pillow under your head or a pillow under your knees or a blanket, blanket over the body or even in a light covering over your eyes. So take a moment to make yourself very comfortable, knowing you can always pause the video while you reach for any of these props and then start it again as you settle into stillness. And if you're more comfortable being in any other position other than laying on the back, please do listen to that and be in whatever position is most comfortable for you. So as you're settling in, your eyes are closed down and take a moment to scan through the body and notice if you could adjust even just a little bit to support your comfort. Finding even the slightest micro movement to bring you into a state of even 5% more comfort. Perhaps it's a smoothing out of the upper back or smoothing out of the lower back making sure the arms are comfortable, whether at your sides or hands on the body. Legs may be extended or maybe the knees are bent for more support of your lower back if you're lying down. And as you're settling into this position, begin to notice the feeling of the earth beneath you. Perhaps welcoming each point of contact that your back body shares with the earth. And as you welcome this contact, allow yourself to settle in and relax into the support of the earth. And welcome the feeling of your breath flowing in and out through the nose in a relaxed way. Effortless breath. This body knows how to breathe. So allow your body to be breathed, to relax and let go even more. As if every wave of breath is guiding you to relax, to soften into stillness, Each wave of the breath guiding you to let go. Even more. As if a soothing wave of relaxation enters in through the crown of the head and flows through the body. This soothing wave of relaxation flows all the way down to the tips of the fingers and the toes. Flows all the way down, draining away any tension or stress. Begin to welcome if this wave of relaxation had a color, a color that is soothing and healing for you in this moment. Whatever comes to your mind, 
to your body. Allow this color to flow through you. Flowing from the crown of the head all the way down to the tips of the fingers and the toes and all the way out the body, carrying away any stress or tension, washing away any imbalances, allowing this color, perhaps it's a light that flows in through the crown of the head, flows down, all the way down and out, the fingers and toes and soles of your feet. A feeling of this wave of relaxation, just like each wave of breath guides you to relax a little more guides you deeper relaxed. Every wave of breath carries you to relax even more than the breath before. into the peace and into the stillness that is here within you. Resting at ease. Resting at home here in your center. You're welcome to rest here as long as you feel called to. If you would like to simmer within the sweetness of this rest a little longer, please do. Listen to yourself. And if you feel ready to reawaken, you may start to notice the sounds around you and welcome these sounds through open ears. Notice the air touching your skin and the ground beneath you. Even notice the darkness or the color behind the closed eyelids, the shapes. Starting to slowly, gently reawaken your senses, trusting that you will emerge from this rest and from this, pro this entire practice, feeling more balanced, relaxed and alert, clear and open. So as your awareness begins to reawaken, you may start to wiggle your fingers and toes and perhaps take a little bit of a stretch, slowly, gently inviting movement back. So you may wish to roll to one side and pause there for a few breaths. Giving thanks to yourself for taking this time for this practice, giving thanks to your body, your mind, your nervous system, your spirit, your whole being, this multi-dimensional self. Until you're ready to transition to seated, you may lift yourself up or again, you may be transitioning in your own time and pace. 
If you are coming up to seated, you may bring your hands palm to palm at the heart and take a mo few moments here to, perhaps with eyes closed down, welcome back the feeling of your breath flowing in and out through the nose. Trusting that this breath connection remains within you, that you have the capacity to call upon the breath to help soothe the nervous system, to move through life with more ease and presence. And we dedicate the fruits of this practice to all beings. May all beings live in peace and may all beings be well. May our lives contribute to this peace and wellness for all. Thank you so much for practicing together. Thank you, everyone. Be well.